In the last video, we looked at documents and their words. We had a number of documents and then we tried to figure out which words were present in the document. Then we used the presence or absence of certain words as a feature to describe the document. So maybe the documents could be described as whether they had the word sushi or not, whether they had the word Hanover or not. We used this system to calculate distances between documents. And then we got a really neat side effect. When you have these distances, points that are very similar are going to start to cluster together. So documents that are similar are going to be closer in this n-dimensional space, and closest that are more objects that are more different are going to be more separated. Here we have a summary of what we studied last time. We have a three-dimensional system because we have three features, whether a document has the word sushi or not, whether a document has the word Hanover or not, and whether the word has the word the document has the word origami or not. With that, we have three dimensions, and we can put our documents in this three-dimensional space. So for example, document D9, Hanover Japan Club as Origami Tuesdays and Make Your Own Sushi Fridays. This document has the word for sushi, has the word Hanover, and has the word origami. So in our feature system, this document would be in the position in the position one, one, one. This means one step in the sushi direction, one step in the Hanover direction, one vertical step in the origami uh, direction. So starting from the center, this dot that represents D9 would now be here, floating above our plane. We can have a document like D1, Sushi Fresh has the freshest sushi in Hanover. The, the description of this document would be 110 in our feature system, because it's one step in the sushi dimension, one step in the Hanover direction, and zero steps in the origami dimension. Notice that the distance between D9 and D1 is one unit, precisely that origami jump. We can have a document in the position, in, we can have a document like D4, basketball is overrated, which has the position 000, zero, zero because it does not have the word sushi or Hanover or origami. So it's there in the point of origin of our three dimensional system. With this, we can calculate distances between documents, but most importantly, we can calculate distances between a query, a search in a web page, for example, a search like sushi and origami in Hanover. We can calculate the distance between that and our documents so that we can know which documents most resemble our query. Our query would be described as 111 in our feature system because it has the word sushi, the word or, uh, Hanover, and the word origami. Because it's 111, we can then calculate its distance from 111, which is D9, 110, D1, and 000, which is D4. What we get is that D9 is the closest document to the query. And this makes sense. It's, our intuition would be that if we search for sushi and origami in Hanover, what we should get in return is the document D9, because this is the one that most resembles the query that we put in. This is what we looked at last time. Let's continue to explore this feature system. Arbitrary, but it seems to be working so far. Here we have our original documents. It's 12 documents. Um, think of them as very small web pages. And we have the feature system, whether it has sushi or not, Hanover or not, origami or not. The first document would be described as 110 because it has the word sushi, it has the word Hanover, and it does not have the word origami. Now try it yourself. Try to figure out what the features would be for the other 11 documents. So if it has the word for sushi, write a one. If it has the word, or even if it lacks the word for sushi, write a zero. Same with Hanover, one or zero. Same with origami, one or zero. Give it a try and pause the video now. Welcome back. Um, this is what we have when we describe every document with its feature system. So 
for example, the yellow documents are uh, all have the same features, the red documents all have the same features, and the green documents all have the same features. For example, um, the green ones all have 100. Zero, zero. They talk about sushi, but they do not talk about Hanover or origami. So we have sushi in Seattle is much better than you'd expect. Creative chefs cook sushi French fusion is transport. So you do have the word sushi, but none of the others. But because these have the same features, 100, 100, we could uh, have them, we could say that they are the same in this kind of feature system. So they would form a natural cluster. Same for the ones with the yellow highlighting. Sushi of the freshest sushi in Hanover is 110. For an authentic sushi boat, come to Sushi Land in Hanover, 110. Big Sushi of the cheapest sushi in Hanover, 110. All these three documents have the same description in our feature system. And they are probably related. They all talk about restaurants with sushi in Hanover. Finally, the ones in uh, red talk about Hanover, but don't talk about sushi or origami. They are 010. They talk about basketball in Hanover or about how Hanover is cold. The documents in white are documents that are unique. There's no other document like them in our feature system. For example, um, basketball is overrated, zero, zero, zero. There's no other document like it. With this description, we can plot the position of the document in our three-dimensional system. For example, the position of D4, basketball is overrated, is zero, 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 right and in the center of our three-dimensional system. The position of D9 would be 1, 1, 1, a 1 for every direction, and it's indeed floating over there. In Hanover Japan Club, as Origami Tuesdays, at Make Your Own Sushi Fridays. Most importantly, you can see that there's some places where the documents have begun to cluster. For example, D1, D5, and D10, the ones that have to do with sushi restaurants in Hanover. There's other clusters like D8 and D11. Sushi in Seattle is much better than you'd expect. Creative chefs cook sushi French fusion in Strasbourg. Again, as you can see here, D1, D5, and D10 are now clustering together because they have the same description in the feature system. And so are, for example, D3 and D12 over there. Uh, playing basketball in Hanover, join our team. Hanover is particularly cold. This would be a zero for sushi, a one for Hanover, and a zero for origami. So because they have the same position in our feature system, we now know that they are roughly about related topics. We have in essence created a clustering system for the documents where we, can, where we have more similar documents have the same feature descriptions and more different documents have different feature descriptions. So in summary, when we take documents and we treat their words as features, whether it has sushi or not, whether it has Hanover or not, two things happen. First, you can measure distances between documents. So you can take in a query and figure out which are the documents that are, that are closer to this query. And a second thing happens. Documents that, are, that have similar feature descriptions can, are going to begin to cluster together. So if we search for uh, the feature description 110, for example, or 001, it's going to return documents that are similar in content. And we're going to use this to uh, make clustering algorithms, for example. More of this in our next video.